All right, friends. Stobby here, and welcome back to your <coughs> daily dose of Battle Brothers. Sorry, I've been a bit scarce. It has gotten crazy again in my life. But, uh, yeah, I'm doing some studying. Work is breaking my balls. But the studying should be done within a week, and I'm hoping to actually stream again. Bentley! Puppies getting rungbunctious. There's a lot going on. Righto. So, we are escorting a caravan. And it looks like we're going to have to fight some Chosen now. I'm not that keen on... Yeah. Ten Chosen. Uh, Sandvone is injured, so he's not to sit out. So we'll put Malek back in. Honestly, the lineup is fine like that. I don't really mind. We can leave Geralt in. I mean, considering that these archers are going to struggle now at night time. So how about we do that? I kind of don't care if Geralt gets murdered. <laughs> I know that's brutal, but... Uh, where's your extra throwing ammo, Alston? Right, we need to collect some more throwing uh, weapons there. What is going on here? Oh, the, that's right. I haven't done the expanded quiver for him. Check on weapons here. Okay, Ferdinand, pole arm lad, 75. I think, yeah, I want Ferdinand to have that instead. Extra armor damage. I'm really only including that pole on there so that uh, Geralt can stab from a distance if he has to move off the front line. And these are all some heavily, heavily armed nerds. Should I see where they move up to? I think they're going to move one, two, three. Are they going to capture that high ground? If someone like Vildrich or Dagger can take that bit of high ground, we'll move up to support him. Okay, so they're ignoring the high ground. I suppose it's fair enough. Rich. Mike, pole armor, right? Yeah. Well, the long axe is going to perform better against the armor. That's fine, we can rotate him out. And then Jenks, it's kind of down to you to hold that flank. It's fucking terrifying, isn't it? Oh, I'm stupid. Now we have to double rotate there. These are cleavers, so they can't come through it. There is a bit of urgency here, though. Okay, on the next turn, he can attack. So, actually, if Tull takes this spot, he can control this square, but not that one. That's not a super ideal. Big Hairy. Yeah, to bet. Because then you can fight that chosen with heart advantage. He goes there, he goes there. Pierce says, I'm going to have to double rate Yeah, because I stupidly moved Jalmar up. And then I think I want Geralt on one of the flanks. Assuming this Chosen comes up here. It's rotating because I want one of these lads to take that position. It's going to put them into triple contact with two dagger lads. Whoever takes this position should get nuked down pretty damn quickly. Oh, 
Uh, Tobir does not have polo mastery yet, so he can't actually attack this turn. Do you have quick hands, Vine? Ooh, that's a shield. I thought that. Uh, I thought that was the banner. Ah, I should have seen that, silly. Well, I can still rotate the dagger. <clears throat> Just Ferdinand rotation. He should do good, so he can rotate himself out. Let's focus this lad down. Uh. Oh, Geralt, <laughs> you suck. It's uh, kind of why I'm happy for him to die. It's just, it's just no good. Oh, lads. Please. I don't really see much point in putting a shield up against these nerds. I just break it really quickly. Now, these lads on the side there need to build here. Olaf. 51 defense, not bad. Ugh. Throwing nets, so good. Gonna do nothing, even if I could hit. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Uh, not beautiful. Hold, lads. God, we've missed a lot. Okay, so hopefully that frees up the square. It's one of these next lads move up here again. Girl to dodging, I so wish I'd given him a great sword. This caravan we are escorting is terminating at a city that has a weaponsmith, though. So, with a bit of luck, the weaponsmith. Come on, I'm gonna rotate. With a bit of luck, the weaponsmith will have a legendary great sword. I mean, we're sitting on 11,000 gold, plus what we're gonna get paid for this. And on completing the escort mission, the city will have the what's called well supplied. Which of course incidentally is one of the best reasons to do caravan missions uh, when you have a load of money. <laughs> well Drake, what level are you? Level eight, okay good. I was gonna say, why on earth don't you have recover? <laughs> As expected. Oh Christ, his head's come off. Uh, 
Really, dude? Oh, boys. is just the best skill in the game. <sighs> I suppose I shouldn't be that Annoyed about all these misses. These chosen do have decent defense. They don't have rubbish defense. Once he's a taking an unarmored target, girl isn't that dreadful, but holy crap, he does nothing against armor. Even with duelist. Uh, I don't think I can knock him down here. There he goes, fine, finally. <laughs> scary. Or in chosen, always scary. So what do we lose? Shield? Oh, there's the bloody battle standard. What is going on with my team selection? Oh, of course, I didn't swap out the axe because of the tree ant fight. That's why. I don't want to make him a heavy armor fighter. I mean, he doesn't have the best fatigue at all, but the iron lung is going to help a lot. And eventually the entirety of the front line needs to be in heavy armor. Uh, I don't think we have any sort of brother that I can justify a nimble build on. I can certainly try a higher one if one comes around. And if I'm going to run a nimble brother on the front line, it might be on the outside flank. Like if you have a tank there, then you would sit there. Front line just with dodge. That is scary. I think you kind of, I think you kind of have to build him fatigue neutral as well if you're going to do that. Which then would make a sword duelist probably your best option. Maybe a mace or hammer duelist wouldn't use that much. I mean, your fatigue and thus your initiative would be dropping by five a turn, if you're assuming you attack twice a turn. Oh yeah, we need to cancel this. That's not going to happen. I think one of you guys in the comments said that this is a 1 in 9,000 chance of actually happening. Oh no, come on, I don't want to fight this. Blech. Oh, gross. Don't tell me the militia's winning. Oh, Lords of War, bless you. I mean, we absolutely could have and would have beaten those goblins, but it's just such a bummer fighting them, especially at night. All those little fuckers have night vision. Hmm. So, Himmelfester, Weaponsmith. What are we hoping for? I think a nice two handed greatsword. What do we have here? The Elusive Arched Blade. Uh, legendary Shamshir with base weapon damage. That's rubbish. 
20 and 97 it's really not any good is it it's just 20 percent more effective against armor and it builds up a little bit less fatigue Ugh. well we do have a great sword though so that's nice And I reckon it's Big Harry who is best place to use the great sword. Detail 8748. And detail may be as good, but it doesn't really have the fatigue. We know of course that Geralt is just fucking rubbish. Let's try him a little differently let's go like that and if he still really doesn't perform even with the noble sword because the fencer's blade needs initiative to do bonus damage and he doesn't have enough initiative who am i kidding we're gonna get rid of him he's, he's just not good enough okay i think we'll run two archers for the moment i mean i've got a third if i need him but of course i want to keep getting those levels 8, level 9, level 5, level 11 on the sergeant. 10 on the bannerman. Let's get Jero some more levels. I do need more throwing weapons, but I don't think it's worth purchasing them. <laughs> level 10 Polom, level 12 Dagger. Oh yeah, Sanvone. Let's go back in. Yeah, I'll if, I'll if I might even skip weapon spec altogether on him. He clearly needs Indom. Jank's got to be replaced. Yikes. Uh, Mossy Shelter, east of Birkenbag. Nothing named in here. How about training? Who's low level? Jero's low level and Jalmar. Worth the road. Tundra. Tundra, not far southeast. Don't know what it's called. seven of these unholds that's also a bit of a yikes we have some underleveled lads we don't have the right weapons for this i mean we could throw fire pots and see how it goes but i'd much rather pull them into some reinforcements and just try to finish them off because i do want that crafting material ha huh. all right then that is bugger off understandably More recruits available, hunters, poachers. Well, only poachers are the ones that are relevant for us. Nope. Mm, nope. Eh, nope. A miner would have to have some incredible stars for me to consider him. Horum. Back down to Horum. Ooh, 570. I think I can make profit off of that. And 220 is not bad either. So 64, 84, 104, 120, 140. Some ammo as well. Reminds me, how's the retinue doing? Recruiter, scavenger, drill sergeant, scout. 
Is there a tavern here? Okay, well, it's gonna take a pretty big morale hit. If I have to cancel that, sorry boys. One more round. Stop your whinging. How about the undead ambition? That's what I'd like the most. The kill undead. I've got the whips, so I can kill a lot of geists quite quickly. We've got decent archers, so necromancers we can take care of. This could be an initiative, dude. A fencer, but I would want more, I think. How would I build this lad? I'll just every level take initiative and melee skill. And then he'll get defense almost entirely from from that. You would need fatigue as well there, doesn't have stars and fatigue. Uh, I like brute. But he's only got 50 and one star, so that's not good enough. Fearless. Uh, almost. Hunt down would terrorize it. Give him at least a dozen opponents. Oh, that's going to be dead easy. I mean, hell, we might even get this now. If, if this is spiders. Direwolf, 16. Easy. Easy, he said, before everybody died. Yeah, I noticed that. Oof, that would have been embarrassing. You know, my dagger lads might actually try to actually dagger these wolves down. I think I'm going to get more pelts if I do it that way. I'm fairly certain the pelt drop chance is, det uh, is determined by the state of their body armor, and they do have armor. Okay, not an ideal starting battle position, but fine. At least the front line is at a disadvantage. Still, let's wait. I want to see if Vilderich, if any of my dagger lads, can dagger these things to death. Curses. Is that two, uh, 64 or 84? that are engaged with the dagger lads. Wait, this one's head armor is completely intact. Uh, let's go away. Oh, I don't want to that. No, I can't repost. Curses. Shit, I'm gonna flee. Ruin its body armor. Is this crazy? This is crazy. I mean, if it hits the head and finishes it off, see, there goes its whole bloody body armor. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Oh, 
Nice, good job. Okay, so that one we're gonna dagger. One for sure, we're gonna dagger. Big Harry, you're doing God's work. Okay, it did drop a pelt, so maybe it's head and a body, which counts for whether it drops a pelt or not. It's a separate roll, because I have to admit I don't know exactly how that works with these the direwolves exactly. Okay, dropped one pelt, unsurprisingly. Another one. Just bear in mind, of course, I want as many pelts as possible. Drop, so presumably one of those javelins hit the head and destroyed that last bit of armor I had. the head so that's fine so that one appeared to have full head armor still drop a pelt so i wonder then if it's just a flat drop chance no matter how it dies and in what state it's, it's armor is So this is very different from the last fight we had going from a strat fight to a bit of wolves not even in the same universe is it but give up we have you surrounded wolf nerd Six large wolf pelts. That's good. That's enough for two wolf attachments. No level up, so. Six one eight. Ooh, that's nice, but I think I can do better. a lot but I mean he has been bloody he's tried his best he's been with us for 188 days took part in 100 battles and has 106 kills 18 daily uh, it doesn't cost that much let's keep him around for now Marauding greenskins, not even a thousand gold. We need to up those numbers. Oh, those are some rookie numbers. Seven tools. Thank you very much. Ooh, nightmares. In the nightmares for two thousand. Uh, yes, please, we'll do that. So lads who don't have great melee skill go there. Uh, do you have... It's got all whips on the front line, I reckon.
an 11. Okay, I think I want the sergeant. Someone with a good morale. Any more whoops? It certainly is. So yeah, my hope is that all these whips are going to do work. Ooh, that's nice and cheap. No. Confident and Iron Jaw is very nice. But the melee stars are not there. Confident again, nice, but no good. I need to spend some time probably at the end of this episode offline just getting a hold of an understanding of what exactly my group looks like now. So I've kind of lost track of how many tanks I have, how many uh, polo arm users and all that stuff. So actually, I could shoot there for 86 and hit him, but there's three or five of them about to act in the next five turns. I'd rather have them spending AP moving. Because maybe if I damaged one now, they would essentially teleport all into position there and they'd start doing damage immediately. In range, I don't think so. Lads, these misses are no bueno. Always wake someone up preferentially. Okay, two down. I will point out they don't bleed though, so just bear that in mind. Lads. Ferdinand have he does so he can drill him oh baby give me that oh baby that's a rarity but to be able to do that against these things is very rare 6 AP and I have 7 uh, he's not going to have the fatigue to be able to reap again but still worth get a 4 out of 10 killed I wonder if these things can be burned by fire parts because if they can you can put fire down here and here and here and here because it's, the end, it's at the end of your formation that they tend to congregate So strange how it's heavily centered down at the bottom. Okay, I need to rotate Tobiron out. You do find that the lads, right on the end of the formation, tend to take it in the teeth. So I think it's still the case that you take less hit point damage the higher your will points are. Yeah. No, man. No! For 
fuck's sake. Uh. God, that's an irritating change to the AI that would normally only attack the one on the end and maybe there. For fuck's sake. God oh, damn it. I spend God knows how many more hundreds of hours finding and leveling another another brother. That death it just resets my desire to want to play the game. <coughs> yeah, Tobion was one of the higher level... What was he? He was a Haskell. No, he was a Polarm user. Damn it. Ugh, really? What is the problem I have with Battle Brothers? It's just. It's such a grind. Ugh, keeping lads alive. So a level 10 tank doesn't have weapons back doesn't have any oh, okay the plus three i got to take though and for a level 10 with only 29 melee defense it's not even that good he's just kind of shit this bro I don't know, man. I wasn't expecting to feel so fucking irritated by another death. I suppose I could save scum, but... Ugh, God. Star is on the right placement, but his rolls is far too low. Alright, pay me. God. I don't know, man. 
I'm gonna stop the episode there. I'm just too irritated. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck this game. It's so hard to keep playing this game. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if there'll be any more episodes. I don't know. Ugh. Battle Brothers. Curse you.